Welcome to Aussie Indian and I have got Dr. Ravi Raj from India. Uh, Dr. Ravi Raj, thank you very much for your time. Uh, maybe we can start off with your own background, um, where you come from in India and your background, your educational background and how you got interested in Watsu. Uh, basically, uh, uh, first of all, my Namaskar to us Indians. Uh, number two, my name is uh, Dr. Ravi Raj Ahir Rao. Uh, basically, I am from Thane, Mumbai and uh, as far as the educational background is concerned, I completed my uh, bachelor's degree in science way back in 1982 from Mumbai University and uh, I, joined, I had a job immediately after that as a medical representative. During the job, I did uh, the postgraduate diploma in management studies from again from Mumbai University and uh, after that, I was into the pharmaceutical uh, business. Uh, somewhere in uh, 1994, I got attracted to one of the book on Vastu Shastra. It was a, a special issue of a magazine, uh, generally the magazines that are published in Diwali. So I got, uh, I don't know how I got, but that magazine attracted me like a magnet. Right. Uh, I consider sometimes it must be some sort of a destined part. Where does this doctorate uh, come from? Uh, this is basically, uh, sometimes I am happy also, but I'm about, again I am sad about this. Uh, this PhD I got from uh, International Open University, Colombo. Oh, okay. It is uh, one of the uh, university working on alternative medicines under the guidance of uh, United Nations Program for Education. Oh, okay. And from that university, uh, why I said I am sad about this? Because you know, Vastu Shastri is basically from India. But unfortunately, right from 2003, I am starting, uh, I am following with the Indian government to get into the university. Uh, somewhere now in last one year, the new government that has come in India, uh, I find lot of uh, rays of hopes. And I am um, able to get a, a university for Vastu Shastra very soon. Well, that's what the question I had in mind. Uh, where did, uh, what's the origin of uh, Vastu Shastra? Uh, we can say it's a millions and millions of years uh, ancient science. If we go into the Vedas, we get a reference called Sthapatya Veda. The word Sthapatya means something related to architectural studies, civil engineering. But the, the word Sthapatya Veda has a, got a broad perspective. It does have one particular chapter called as Muhurta Martanda. That means uh, that is everything that is related to astrological things. That means when you should start constructing the house, when you should enter in the house, what are the different type of rituals uh, you are supposed to do for energizing the house. So basically on one side, this Sthapatya Veda gets you uh, the guidance about how to construct and develop, number one, and um, number two is how to energize at proper time. Okay. So but this is what... What about the word Vastu itself? See, the Vastu, the word itself, uh, basically I will say, uh, it's a, it is derived from a Sanskrit word called Vasatu. That means Vasatu. So that, uh, that indicates you stay here. So, Vasatu, that means from the Vasatu, it, came was, it became a Vastu and Vastu in proper meaning can be say, uh, considered as a premises. The premises we can say for residential, commercial, industrial, every type of you. Uh, rather, uh, I would like, you will be surprised to listen that uh, I have done a Vastu Shastra of a jail also. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was basically how Vastu works. I would like to narrate that example. Yeah, sure. uh, once, basically, I tell you, I had opportunity to visit one particular jail in India mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the superintendent of the jail was my student. Okay. So I, I was going through and I was had I had a look at uh, everything. In one particular cell, I saw a lot of turmoil, lot of uh, agitations, or the people were agitated and contradicting and quarrelling with each other. I simply asked my student, what is the wrong here? He said, sir, this is a headache for me. I don't know how to control them. So I immediately took out my magnetic compass and uh, because earlier, the moment I saw that I could, I could guess it and my magnetic compass confirmed it. 
it was the southeast region of the jail oh, okay. and southeast means fire element people with criminal background are definitely with a flared mind <laughs> and if you put them in the fire element the it is going to come up flare up right so i simply advised him shift them to northeast northeast is a area of water element and northeast is a area of spirituality oh, okay. i tell you within 3 months there was a drastic change in those people oh, okay. so this is basically uh, uh, in fact last month i was addressing world communication forum at davos switzerland mm -hmm. and there also i have narrated this particular uh, experience so that means how was to works mm -hmm. how was to influences in life this is a simple you said that uh, it has got vedic beginnings uh, yeah. vastu shastra uh, but uh, obviously the people in the west yeah. uh, we are we have all become students of logic uh, uh, whether it's engineering or medicine it's all based on logic Correct. and we are looking for evidence based research into this area so how far vastu shastra has gone to provide that evidence based research to uh, especially to the western world see uh, when we uh, describe and uh, rather when uh, uh, you ask me to define vastu shastra there is one particular word we use is a vastu shastra is a metaphysical edifice science of indian origin the word metaphysical itself is a highly imp uh, important or the self explanatory meta means spirituality physical that it gets science see uh, science is definitely there but above the science it is uh, related with spirituality uh, in my opinion or rather it is worldwide accepted also science can get you the luxuries of life but the ultimate spirituality can get you the peace of mind and satisfaction mm -hmm. simply i tell you one example vastu shastra one of the very important tip rather every time every lecture i give every day in the morning you should open all the doors windows and curtains of your house and let the morning sun rays come in your house why the reason behind it uh, uh, morning sun rays are highly enriched with ultraviolet rays so you should allow them to get so that there will be the hygienicity will be improved at the same time the setting sun rays are not allowed to enter your house because the intensity of infrared is very high so they will not only kill the organism but they will kill all the destroy all the positive vibrations so that's why they are hazardous they are not allowed so the southwest region of your house should be always closed heavy on a higher side mm. so that naturally you can protect your house from this mm. so these are the things basically i mean in a in simple word i can say enriching human life through natural energy and anything that is based on natural energy is nothing but science mm. so uh, you mentioned uh, at the outset when you started uh, explaining about vastu shastra that uh, there is uh, more and more awareness now not mm. only in india also in other parts of the world uh, how far have you gone how successful have you been in getting that into the university courses uh see uh, earlier i know uh, Uh, as i told you that uh, in 2003 first time i met the hr minister of uh, india indian government and i told him about the those days where they, they brought astrology into the university studies they had lot of problems or the reactions but they are in process and over a period basically i have submitted my proposal through the president of india shrimati pratibha tai patil my proposal was submitted to university grant commission and uh, some of the things were working but of course the earlier government i was not so happy but with this uh, new government modi government has come uh, i'm sure uh, there are so many things are taking place uh, rather i will say uh, now the uh, indian yoga is getting the international uh, recognition and we are going to celebrate uh, 21st june as a uh, international yoga day so for me the day is not far off having international vastu shastra day also mm -hmm. this for is those, my mission for those of our viewers who are looking at this program mm -hmm. those who are especially the skeptics of uh, vastu shastra what advice would you give see first of all uh, uh, the most important thing today is uh, uh, people need to understand what vastu shastra is its impact on human life 
uh, as far as the impact of life uh, in vastu shastra on uh, human life is concerned i will say each and every aspect of human life is uh, influenced by vastu shastra so you need to whether it is wealth health education a uh, harmony coordination career growth stability every aspect of the human life is influenced by vastu shastra so first of all i will say uh, please uh, try to understand what vastu shastra is number 2 how it works with its uh, scientific perspectives the ancient science how it is applicable to the 21st century lifestyle and uh, most important thing is today yes in the last 50 to 70 years we have got we have deviated lot from the vastu shastra uh, i know uh, almost 100% every house or every workplace is not absolutely as per vastu shastra but uh, i will say that uh, without any structural changes without any structural demolitions but with the help of remedial measures we can make your house or your workplace 95% positive get your uh, premises your abode uh, evaluated on the basis of vastu shastra and uh, if you come to know different uh, sorts of uh, the uh, negative aspects or the vastu defects if you get it corrected the effect and the benefits are immense and it is for life long that's all thank you dr raviraj thanks for talking to us indian and have a nice day my pleasure thank you very much and my compliments to all australians